Hi, I'm Renee Stone, trades worker with the City of Waco Traffic Services. We are responsible for fabricating and installing all the signs throughout the City of Waco. We begin the sign fabrication process with a basic sign design off the computer. We use a PowerPro cut sign cutter, which cuts the design out of vinyl sheeting. We take that and weed out all excess vinyl. Once that is complete, we apply transfer tape to the face of the sheeting. At that point, the sign legend is ready for assembly. We pressure roll a substrate on the aluminum blanks and trim excess. Once the legends are applied, our sign is complete. Howdy, my name is Norman Hogue. I work for the city of Waco in the traffic department. I am the traffic engineer and I am in charge of the different divisions within our department. One of the divisions within our department that I oversee directly is the signs and markings division. Part of the new uh, federal requirements that we have seen since December 2009 is that all signs uh, must meet a minimum retroreflectivity. This smaller stop sign here is what we call a, a type 3 um, high intensity. It is called a type 3 because it has glass beads that are encapsulated in the material. The glass beads is what gives us retroflectivity. Light hits the glass beads, is refracted, and comes back out, and that allows this sign to have greater um, retroflectivity properties than the previous sign. These signs are slowly being phased out as um, more prismatic uh, signs, which are cut by, la by, by laser etching the sheeting, um, have taken over for cost-effective uh, purposes. Here in the city, we try to differentiate between our school zones and signs that are used in those and our standard pedestrian crossings, uh, which are primarily just crosswalks and uh, advance uh, warnings for those crosswalks. Here is an example of a, what is called a strong yellow green or fluorescent yellow green uh, sign sheeting. This is a higher grade than the others, but it is still a prismatic type sheeting. Uh, some cities do use the yellow green for both school crossings and school signs as well as pedestrian signs, but here we try to keep the, the difference between the two so that we draw more attention to our school zones when people are driving. Um, this is an example of a prismatic strong yellow uh, sheeting that we use, and this is primarily reserved for our warning signs, but also for our pedestrian signs. Uh, you will see this in a curved warning sign, you will see it with the pedestrians, uh, you will see it, heel signs are all different types of warning signs.